It's that time. Let's feud. I'm the star of the show, Lucky McCoy. Welcome, everybody. Let's meet the families who are taking on the feud. Meet the first family who wants to bag that jackpot prize. Looks like this lot are bringing a big bundle of energy to this game. Okay, we've got two families going up against each other, trying to guess the answers to our surveys. Try to score as much as you can now, because whoever does best gets the advantage of going first in our final round, Fast Money, where the winner could take home a huge prize. All right, let's get this show on the road. It's time to face the first question in the face-off. All right, people, get up here and do your families proud. I want you to give me four answers to this one. Get those buzzer fingers ready. We got 100 people to answer the following question. Name a word that rhymes with nurse. Nice reflexes, Tex. Good answer. We have an answer. I want to see that answer. Purse. That's the big money maker. Awesome. You can play or pass and force the other family to play. Rejoin your family and let's get started. All right, let's hear it. That's what you think, huh? Did our survey say it? Verse. That's gonna put a dent in your game. Oops. So what's your guess gonna be? Is that one of the ones we're still looking for? Burst! Ouch! That's your second strike. And now it's your guess. All right. Is it there? Worse. You're still hanging in there. Yay. Nice. Two more answers up there. What do you think? Uh... Good. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's good. Our survey says, curse. You're still in the game. Yes. Great answer. It's your go. What do you think?
Out of time. There's an opportunity to steal here. It only takes one right answer to steal those points. If it's up there, you steal the points. If not, they go to the other family. Good answer. All righty then. Did our survey agree? Hearse. That's what we want. This round goes to you. But you knew that, didn't you? Show me those scores. That's just one round down. We've got so much fun left to have here. Let's get things going with a face-off. Okay, I need someone from each family to join me up front. Three is the magic number this time. Get those feuding fingers ready. Whoever buzzes in first gets a shot at the question. 100 people gave us an answer to this question. Name something that ends with the word nail. You've got some quick reactions, my friend. What do you think? Yeah. That's your answer. Our survey said, fingernail. It's the number one answer. Is it your time to play or pass? Let's see if the rest of your team can keep things going. Just two answers left to find. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. That's what you're going with? And what did our survey say? Toenail. You've almost cleared the board. Yeah. What do you have for us? That's a great answer. Said with confidence. Show me that answer. Hangnail. And that, my friends, is how you clear the board. Yeah, way to stretch out that lead. Shall we take a look at the scores? One of our families is on the board, while the other family has nothing. Now, let's do the face-off. Who's playing? Let me see you up front. The top six answers are on the board. Time to take it to the next level with double points. We took a survey, 100 people. Name something most people clean at least once a day. You're first, what's your answer? Oh, okay. Let's take a look. Yourself. Oh, so sorry. It's not there. Let's see if you can find the top answer. Yeah, that's a good answer. Ah, yes. Time to check the board. Face. 
Oh, it's there. I was starting to worry. Time to decide. Play or pass? That top answer is still out there. Let's see if the rest of the team can find it. Hey there. Looks like it's your turn. I see where you're going with this. Time to find out if it's up there. Dishes. Good job. I'm gonna need a guess from you. Okay, sure. Show me the answer. Bed. That's your first strike. Two more and you're done. Name something most people clean at least once a day. Okay. Let's see if it's there. Teeth! We're on top! Yahoo! What do you think? Interesting answer. Is it on the board? House. Oh, Ouch. Oh. Another strike. Uh -oh. You got anything for us? Uh... Understood. There aren't many answers left. Is it there? Floor. And that's three strikes. The other family gets a chance to steal. All we need is one right answer, and this family can steal the points. Name something most people clean at least once a day. Okie dokie. Is it up there? Hands. It's a steal. You're narrowing the gap. You missed some answers. Let's see what they are. Number five. What are you? Bathroom. Show me the number three answer. Body. Here's how the scores are shaping up so far. Things are narrowing on the leaderboard. It's all to play for now. Are you ready for a face off? I need two players down in front. We've got a full board, eight answers. Now the points are worth triple, so this game is still up for grabs. We've got answers from 100 people for this question.
Name a word or phrase that can appear before or after the word moon. You're first on the buzzer. What you got? Got it. Do we have a right answer? Oh, swing and a miss. Oh. You're up. What you got for me? Nice. Did anyone in the survey say this? Sorry, it's not up there. Uh -huh. You look like someone who's got a good guess for us. Yeah, that's great answer. Answer, answer accepted. Let's see if you're right. Moonlight. That's not what we're looking for. Oh. You've got this, 100%. Good. good, okay. Let's see if that's a good answer. Oh, it's not there. Right. One look at you tells me you've got the top answer. It's worth a shot. Let's see it. Moon. Sorry, but no. I bet you've got a great answer for us. Okay, then. Do we have it? No points. Okay, since nobody has found anything, I'm going to pick this family to play. Get your feuding face on. It's your go. Okay. Are you sure about that? Is it up there? Show me. Honey. Oh. It's not on the board, so you've earned your first strike of this round. Oh, no. It's up to you now. So... Feeling lucky? Did any of our 100 people say it? 
half. That's another oh. strike. Uh-oh. All right, you're up. Nice. Yeah. Yep. Let's check the board. Hi. You lived a feud another day. For now. That's a good answer. I'm going to need your guess. Here we go, then. Our survey said... What? Uh, Ooh, that's your third strike, folks. Nice. Oh, our other family has a chance to steal. <laughs> to steal the points, all they've got to do is find one right answer. You could steal these points and give yourselves a great chance. Yes! Survey says... Shine! You've done it! You nailed down this round. Now it's time to see what you missed. The last one on the list. River! What about number seven? Blue. For number six, we had Beam. Time for five. Cow jumped. Please reveal number four. Full. Let's see the number one answer. Light. How are those scores looking? It ain't over yet. We need one more round to settle things. Oh, wow. Wow. Let's see who's going to fill in for our missing family. Here they are, ready to go. The winning team needs to hit 300 points. It's time to decide this game. Batten down the hatches. It's time for a sudden death. I'm going to need one person from each family to join me right now. We're only looking for the top answer. For this survey, we're asking for the top answer only. Points are tripled. Whoever gets this answer wins the round. We asked 100 people to give us an answer to this. Name something you wish you had been born with more of. You're up first. What do you got? Sure thing. And our survey says... Money. We're in the points. You did it! Our first place family will get the advantage of going first in fast money. Since you have fewer points, you'll still be playing fast money, but you'll be going second. It's time to go for the big dough in fast money. Let's bring the captains up here to play for their families. All right, my friend, you're answering our questions first. We need just five answers, but they need to be good because your competitor gets a go after you. Whoever bags the best score in this round wins the big money. Ready? Start the clock. Name something you wish you had in your backyard. If you lived in the Sahara Desert, name something you'd have to get used to. Mm -hmm. 
Name a reason that people overeat. If you ran out of money, name something of value you might bet in a poker game. Name something that can cause a lot of damage to a home. We're done. It's time to switch over and see how the other family does. Now it's your turn. You'll be answering the same questions. You can't repeat anything that's already been said, because if you do, you'll have to make another guess. Clock's all set. Let's go. Name something you wish you had in your backyard. If you lived in the Sahara Desert, name something you'd have to get used to. Name a reason that people overeat. If you ran out of money, name something of value you might bet in a poker game. Name something that can cause a lot of damage to a home. We're all questioned out. That's all she wrote. Let's see how y'all did. For starters, we asked, name something you wish you had in your backyard. So here's what you said. Two impressive answers here. Boom! Yeah. Number one answer. For question two, we asked, if you lived in the Sahara Desert, name something you'd have to get used to. Here's what you said. Those look like some mighty fine answers. Oh. You're monstering the opposition already. All right, for the third question, we asked, name a reason that people overeat. The answers to this one, I think we might be good on this one. Yay. Top answer. Oh, yeah. Question four, we asked, if you ran out of money, name something of value you might bet in a poker game. You said, these answers are looking good. We've Lucky. got one good answer and one uh, less good answer. You want to know the top answer? Watch. For the final question, we wanted to know, name something that can cause a lot of damage to a home. This is what you said. And our final survey said, that is one decisive win right there. We have a winner in the house.